हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ जेट पेक लाइब्रेरी एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एम वी वी एम आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एंड्रॉइड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न एम वी वी एम मॉडल व्यू व्यू मॉडल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ एंड्रॉयड दैन इट्स कंपल्सरी टू लर्न सम लाइफ साइकिल अवेयर कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज रिक्वायर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट आर्किटेक्चर सो दीज लाइफ साइकिल अवेयर कंपोनेंट्स आर द पार्ट ऑफ जेट पैक लाइब्रेरी एंड जेट पैक लाइब्रेरी इज द मॉडिफाइड लाइब्रेरी एंड अपडेटेड लाइब्रेरी ऑफ एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट दैट सपोर्ट एम वी वी एम आर्किटेक्चर टू बिल्ड ए वर्ल्ड क्लास बिजनेस ओरिएंटेड एप्लीकेशंस सो इट इज़ माई फर्स्ट वीडियो अबाउट एम वी वी एम आर्किटेक्चर एंड द जेट पैक लाइब्रेरी इन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द लाइफ साइकिल अवेयर कंपोनेंट ऑफ जेट पैक लाइब्रेरी सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल आई विल यूज द लाइफ साइकिल ऑब्जर्वर एंड लाइफ साइकिल ऑबनर कॉन्सेप्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट इन ए प्रैक्टिकल वे सो हेयर आई हैव ओनली ए टेक्स फील्ड in which i have explained life cycle aware component of jetpack library so to understand this we have to understand the life cycle of activity and life cycle of fragments so here i am taking a activity so this life cycle aware components always observe the activity life cycle and on the basis of activity life cycle events they make their mapping and they execute their task so i am giving a example here that i am creating a one class that will work as a observer so i am creating a kotlin class here and i say this my observer so you can give any name i am giving here my observer so i create this class and this class should be the sub class of life cycle observer like this first of all we have to add the library also this is not actually this is not finding this class so we have to add the library also i think i have added the library yes i have the library also this library we have to add you search on the google and you just type the life cycle dependency a life cycle observer dependency then you will have this line from the google developer website so we will have this and we will then life cycle observer once again i try to implement life cycle observer now it's coming life cycle observer so this is the class that is responsible and uh, first of all i am just here creating a one method that is on create this is just the same name as the name of the main activity on create like this this method is on create so i want to link my program with this event of the activity so here i have created the on create and now i want to link this so for linking this we have to use event on event life cycle like this on life cycle event and here we have to link this with the help of event on create like this so you see this method is connect with this method so whenever this on create method will execute in a life cycle of main activity then this function will execute so here i am just writing here log dot d and here i am giving a tag like i say observer and here i am writing i am an on create 
function of observer okay similarly we just import the class similarly i do one thing also i add this line of code here also that will explain that i am also in the main activity activity like this so we have linked this now this observer class has been created one method we have link one more method we have to create just for example i say on resume i'm creating a method on resume okay and uh, i just use small letter and here i again link this with the life cycle method on resume you see so i connected this with on resume method of life cycle so similarly we can make any method which we want to link with the life cycle method and we just connect with this event and here i say on resume like this and similarly we can also override the method here that is on resume this one i is use it and here also i put the log value to understand this life cycle here and i say this is on resume function of main activity now one last thing is remaining we have to add this class my observer class to this class means we have to tell this main activity that this is the observer class for this activity for that we have to use the object of life cycle and then add observer and here we have to pass the object of this class that is my observer this object we have to pass here so it has been linked now whenever i will execute this program this program will execute these events and with these event these function will automatically execute just see the example and we have a locket also in this locket we search the term observer then we will understand you see now this is going to be start you see first of all i am in on create function of main activity this line execute then the observer method this line execute then the on resume main activity execute and then this execute so that means this activity main activity on create method is link with this on create and main activity on resume method is connect with this on resume you can give any name to these functions not compulsory to have a same just to understand i have given the same name and one more thing why we need this life cycle observer because if the application is big then it is not possible to write all the code within a on create or on a resume because it make the code complicated and it make the programmer to uh, to uh, have a less choice of options to debug your application if application is big and the programmer is new to the application so it not possible to understand the code which is written in on create because in a small application we have a 100 200 line of code but in a business application big applications we have thousands of line so thousands of line on this on create is not possible to understand for a new programmer that's why they have given the choice to add the logic in different file and add in on create and these all the files as a observer they will map with the life cycle of the activity or life cycle of the fragment so it make your application more modular and most business oriented and also 
easy to understand and easy to debug your application it very easy to understand now that i have added this class and if the error is coming from this class so i can easily understand and i can i can easily remove this error but if i do all the coding here and one line of code is generating the error it's not possible to understand all the code within on create so it is the helpful for creating a large business oriented application and it is part of mvvm model view view model architecture of android that is a new architecture that we are going to learn here and that is also the part of jetpack library so it was the observer this class was the observer and this activity is the owner so this life cycle add observer this is the owner so owner have the object of observer and we are observing the activity on create and on resume method on the same time we also executing these method similar way you can create more method on pause on destroy on stop whatever you want to use you can link with these events with your activity so this is this was the example to understand and one more thing that in place of log file we can also use here toast so i just give you example that i can also use here toast but here for toast i need a context example so what i will do i will pass here the context means this and here i will change this constructor to the context like this and i put here the where like this and here i just make context dot application context and here i am in on create observer this will execute and so all the task which we done inside the main activity we can done here on create the same and it is also run on same thread so if we want to use the multi thread application then we can use coroutines also here we can implement coroutine logic here so you see the first example you see just see the toast here you see i am in on main activity and then after this i am in on observer i am in on create observer so toast is also running so like this you can run toast also so there is no problem at all just we have to pass the context so context we can pass here in a constructor and with the help of this context we can access the toast also similar way we can write any number of code that we are want to that we want to add here in main activity so like this you can use the life cycle aware components observer and owner in your application thank you for watching this application